Hi, hello there. Swiss, Swiss, Swiss product today. So today we have a lot of chocolate, multifunctional tool, they're all Swiss product. We're going to be covering the BNT GHM9 and the BNT KH9 today. Stay tuned, we're going to do a quick overview and discuss the BNT product. So today we're going to be talking about the BNT, two BNT pistols, the GHM9, 9x19mm, and the KH9. Swiss makes good product, including the chocolate, but today we are not going to talk about chocolate so much, but more pistols. Uh, let's start with the GHM9, which is a very interesting product. It's a semi-automatic pistol that fires 9 by 19 millimeter, and of course this one is has been safety checked. It's unloaded, no magazine. It comes in a pistol variant, which typically looks just like this, but it's ready to be an SBR short barrel rifle because the back of the stock, you the back of the the receiver block is ready to receive a stock. This one is actually very configured exactly similar than what the BNT website has with a low profile stock the whole package is very light very portable so the GHM9 is GHM stand for grasshopper mouse like that this the, the pistol was named after the grasshopper mouse which is known to be able to eradicate uh, scorpions by neutralizing with their venom as you can probably tell so BNT was coming after the CZ evil scorpion which we have here which is a, a good far a great farm so the story goes the BNT GHM9 is a competitor obviously to the CZ Scorpion because a grasshopper mouse can eat and neutralize a scorpion there you have it mouse so you get a laser engraved picture of a grasshopper eating a scorpion 9 by 19 millimeter semi-automatic pistol. This is a blow close bolt, blowback operating system. Or I should say action. Uh, the rifle, um, the pistol is very light, very precise, easy to shoot. Um, BNT makes a lot of product for military, special forces, and professional shooter. However, this one was more for civilian use and it's commercialized in the U.S. since 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Swiss made portable lots of rail space so you can add a lot of accessories on top right now in this configuration we have a Trigicon MRO on the pistol it comes with a Trilug 7 inch barrel that can of course receive any suppressor and it's very ready, ready for suppression Lots of Picatinny rails as you can see, quad rails in the front, rails on the top, right to the left charging end door, um, easily transferable, so if you want to have a charging end on this side, you can easily change that just by taking the farm apart. Um, it's, very, it's an ambidextric farm, I mean the, from the safety level to the mag release, you have ambidextric buttons. Uh, 
I really like the BNT because it's a very short package, very light. You can actually fire the fire the, the pistol with the bolt closed. Uh, I'm sorry, the stock folded. <laughs> with the stock folded, there's enough room for ejection of the the casing. Anyway, there's a little storage case in the bottom there. The magazines are proprietary, but the DHM I think can be converted to you see Glock magazine. In this configuration, this is a 30, ma 30 round magazine. I believe it, it has a 10, 15, 20, 30 round or 25 and 25 round options. Or you can have these coupler mags and have a 60 round capacity on your person. Or another one of my favorite, you can have a drum magazine. This is a 50 round drum magazine. However, personally, let me set this down. I found this mag, this drum, cool but not easy to use because of the the roaring mechanism it's hard to grip and reload sometimes as the as you're putting more ammo in the magazine it's hard to keep maintaining this you need to have like a third hand because you need to keep this hold it pushed around so i wish there were a little bit better design to hold this and reload it but this is not a bnt drum mag this is a aftermarket magazine by f5 i believe this is a ghm9 gen 2 there was a gen 1 version and I think the main difference is uh, the, the Gen 2 is much more modular than the Gen 1 uh, interchangeable magazine and a changeable, sorry, bar barrel and handguard you can interchange them easily you can make it a micro version by changing this front piece there's actually shorter if you want a GHM9 Gen 2 micro it's even a little shorter than this one and the Gen 2 can accept the Glock can Glock compatible lower so that's kind of the main difference between a Gen 1 and a Gen 2 there's actually a storm going on right now, so I apologize for any background noise. It's just mother nature. Uh What else to say about this one? This stock, it's very light, very low profile. You can have, of course, different braces to make this a pistol and not having to SBR it. But this is kind of the configuration that BNT has on their website. I would say the stock is very light, very slim profile, not the most comfortable thing to put on your shoulder. However, it works just fine. You just have to maybe get used to it, but it's not the most comfortable one. So. If you're looking for comfort, baby, you can have a. Uh, I know SB Tactical make makes braces and stock that will fit on this farm, and so as, as other several other companies. But once you buy the pistol, it's very easy. You do your form form one for your SBR conversion, and you re it's ready to receive multiple stocks. Especially this one is a, a drop in no no modification required because it fits right in so let's take it apart and look at the internal real quick three pins I'm using this pin tool to help myself so you take it apart just like similar to an AR-15 you have a pivot pin here and another pin here I'm going to see it there gently of course it's a little hard right now I'm going to push in oh of course you will have to keep that up deploy the stop so two pins and now the lower is being released. Very light, lower package, safety. This is polymer construction with of course metal pit parts and aluminum components, but uh, easily feel strip, lowers out. Now to remove the internal the bolt and uh, the bolt carrier and everything else, we have one more pin here that we can release but once you release that you have to be careful because the stock and the end of the back end of the stock is what's holding the spring that uh, the blowback mechanism so it's under pressure but once I release the, release the pin 
I'll have to keep my hand on it, otherwise it will fly off. And let's see if I can do that without messing up too much. Okay, bring it down. Lift it up. There you go. Stock is out. Put some chocolate away. Two springs. Then your grasshopper. And then you just tilt it. Remove, remove the charging handle bar. You have to slide it on this side. On the cut out, remove the charging handle bar. So if I wanted to change position, all I have to do is reinsert it from the other side. So that's how you can make it. From the left, change it from the left to the right. This time, and the, blo the block, it's one big block coming out. The spring, compression. So is the design one big part on the blocks the, as you can see it's easily filled fill strip so you can clean it operate it put it back together so to put it back together is the reverse the front end slide it in the charging end on let's put it back to the left so i'll have to insert it while it's back here Springs. They are equally. They are the same, so there is no specific hole they go into. However, it is one same, only one way to put the spring bar here. Now press and hold. Hit the stock bottom. Align the, the detent pin hole while we slide it in. Okay, we'll stop this back in. Our receiver. Push the pin back in. Function check. There you go. So I think it came out in the US in 2017. 2018, this was costing $1,300. And the price has been slowly going up. If you can find them because they easily go out of stock, it's about $1,500, $1,600. So if you compare this to a SIG MPX or so a sub, you know, pistol caliber per, uh, weapon of that range. Many competitors for the quality of the product cost a little more, cost a lot more money. But still, fifteen hundred dollars compared to a CZ Scorpion. Although this is a Evo Scorpion three, which is about twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. So add a little bit and you get a BNT. However, they usually get out of stock very easily. But it's not the cheapest firearm, right? It's a pistol and it's, you're dropping a quite a bit of change on that. However, it's a great quality machine, a piece of equipment. As any, as mostly Swiss product, very reliable, works perfectly, makes you feel like a great shooter, shoots very well, and it's a BNT. I mean, it's, it's a it's very nice pistol in terms of the, and it's, I, you don't see too many, it's, you don't see too many of these in the range, right? I'm sure some folks have them out there, but every time I see them listed, it takes a day or two and they're out of stock. So that's the BNT GHM9. Let's reset and talk about the KH9 because, because these are the two babies we are featuring today, both BNT product. But now without ado, let's talk about the KH9. BNT KH9 Brugger and Tomé by the way BNT stands for Brugger and Tomé uh, The KH9 is a cool I guess I say cool a lot The KH9 is a very limited production pistol It was made in the only in 400 units So this is definitely a collectible uh, It was inspired by the Side Spectre M4 And we had a video on the Side Spectre this one particularly that you can look on uh, on our channel so i'm going to post the link on the video here but the ghm kh 
the BNT KH9 was inspired by the Side Spectre M4. Similarities, right? Charging handle is on the top, uh, and there's a cutout on the charging handle bar that you can so you can see through your sights. The KH9 is a single action, double action pistol. It's got a decocker, no safety uh, button, and it's got an interesting bolt open, bolt lock open button right here on the top. So, right here is where you will press release or if you pull the charging handle and press here that's how you lock the bolt open close bolt blowback system similar to the BA, the GH, uh, GHM9 uh, heavy trigger at first in single action but as soon as after you press that trigger in double action is very soft very light like a P226 similar to that very soft trigger once you enter the double action picture. And it's got a, again, as I mentioned, it's got a decocker, no safety. The decocker is quite hard. Once you decock it, there's a little chamber indicator here. I don't know if you can see the green color here. So I'm going to try it. Once it's locked, I see it goes to actual. Let me set it down because it's quite hard to use one-handed so once it's locked and lowered it it goes to black and if I press the trigger green or if you want to decock the farm you push the decocker and the indicator will go to green right here so of course a uh, six inch barrel with a trilog adapter from uh, uh, HNK trilogs system just similar to the GHM9 again so trilog adapter it's got two fronts two sides front and here similar to M uh, Mike Pulimba sides looking fixed you know detachable sides but mounted in the receiver the Picatinny rails on top are built into the receiver the construction is really made of alloy at the bottom and still on top but it's quite light light a little heavier than the GHM9 but it's not too heavy um, this one has a foldable stock as well so again this was converted to an SBR you, it comes in as a pistol like this and then it can receive a foldable stock low profile stock on this one very light very slim not the most comfortable as I mentioned similar to the uh, GHM9 but it works very well with this farm because again you can fire it with the stock closed folded The KH9 usually comes with two 30 round magazines, similar to this, similar magazine than the GHM9. Uh, interesting pistol, really interesting pistol because of the, sing the, the single action, double action. Um, it will be, it's very cool for a collector to have both, both the Spectre M4 and the GHM, the KH9, sorry. You know one older classic one more modern version of the same type of farms uh, this one particularly is outfitted with front and rear sight how they as they come and we have a surefire 300x light mounted on the side here and you could put a you could put a, a red dot on top here I guess it would be right on the back or somewhere over in the front but the, the I like the 
position on this slide because it also serves as a kind of a hand stop so that you don't move your hands past too far forward. The pistol grip has a storage at the bottom. I think this one is more easily manageable than the other one so you can store batteries or whatever in here for your portable chocolate actually let's see if we can fit some Swiss chocolate in there there you go you can store a couple of chocolate in your GHM your KH9 I kept calling it GHM don't store them there too long so they don't melt so but uh, very fun you know lots of function to the pistol takes Swiss chocolate These ones, if you can get one, because they are no longer, again, there were only 400 of, 400 of them made. When it came out, I believe I've seen price point between 2500 to 3000 Right now, the price probably be could be a little higher than that, but you will have to buy it pre-owned by from someone who is willing to part from theirs. It was a limited run. They are not longer, no longer listed on the BNT website either, but you can get accessories and support for the farm. Uh, as usual, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, remember to subscribe and post a comment. If you have one of the BNT pistol or maybe a BNT rifle, post a comment, let me know. If you have um, a side spectre and a KH9, definitely kudos to you and post a comment I would like to know that as well. I'm going to try to set up a Patreon account to get a little more support uh, and uh, expand the channel that way. So please share the videos if they, they are enjoyable to you. Remember to stay safe and get some training. And until, ne until next time, peace out and talk to you soon.